Keshar here, and today I have a request for Xiaomi. So I'm going to show you how to cook uh, chickpeas uh, uh, patties. And uh, I'm going to cook that with the sweet and sour sauce. So I will take you through the whole process to show you how to uh, do the patties and how to prepare the sauce. I've got about uh, a little bit over a pound of uh, meat to just play it safe. I'm just gonna take some of the meat, meat out so it would be only one pound. So I have one pound of meat. I have one whole onion grated. And I have about one and a half cup of uh, chickpeas uh, flour and what you need to do that you need to mix that with uh, water and gradually add that to the mix so how, what I'm going to do half a cup of water and the uh, flour and use a fork put a little flour in here this is going to be like a paste This uh, Xiaomi or uh, chickpeas uh, patties, it has to be very soft. So if you think that it's hard when you're doing it, you need to add water to it. So I'm gonna bring some water to have some water handy in case if you need to add the water, okay. Just add a little bit more water to this because it absorbs all the water. You are going to, you need to use half a teaspoon salt. half a teaspoon this is about half a teaspoon half a teaspoon pepper and you also need to add half a teaspoon of baking powder so remember half a teaspoon of baking powder I'm going to dilute this in one teaspoon of water the reason I use water because then you can dilute it all over the you really mix it with the meat and okay and we've got half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'll go over the mix ingredients again. We've got one pound of meat, one and a half pound of uh, uh, chickpeas flour, one whole onion grated, one half a, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of turmeric, okay? Now, I'm gonna add to the mix about quarter of a, or two tablespoon of saffron mix. Now we go to work and try to really mix this together. For this, you have to have a good 
shoulder and an excellent arm to really mix this. As you mix it, make sure, just test your mixture. If it is too heavy or it's not soft enough, then you need to add a little water. You can smell the chickpeas. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just a little bit. Then we're gonna add three eggs to start. I may need to add four, but right now I'm gonna start with three whole eggs. And then I'll show you how to cook the sweet and sour sauce. Then we fry the patties and soak it actually in the sauce and let it cook for a few minutes in the sauce. Okay, as you see the mixture is getting ready. The more you mix this, the better your shami or your patties will come out. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit while I start on the sauce. So I'll show you how to cook the sauce. Okay, I've got oil. One thing that I should uh, mention that when you uh, do shami, you need to submerge it in oil. I'm not uh, too fond of that, but uh, this is what we have to do. So you really need something about two or two and a half cup of oil in your pan when you start frying the, uh, the patties. More or less it is, but I did not put uh, really that much oil. I just put, put it in a little bit. As you see, I've got probably about one cup of oil. If I need more, I add more. And here I'm going to do the sauce. For the sauce, we just put a little oil and then I have about one small uh, onion with three clove of garlic and, and I'm gonna saute the onion and what we need for the sauce is we need a half a cup of vinegar half a cup of uh, uh, water and one cup of sugar half a cup of sugar. So they are all the same. Half a cup of uh, vinegar, half a cup of uh, water, and half a cup of uh, sugar. I use, because I don't like it to be too sour, this is your choice. You can, uh, the, the, how much vinegar you wanna use. But that's the ingredients. Now I'm gonna start uh, doing the patties. And frying the patties while the onion is getting ready. So, so at the same time, one trick in uh, saving time is you have to be able to do, uh, be multitask. 
you know, you cannot start frying and then I'll do everything at the same time. So this would take a shorter time uh, to cook things. So while I'm uh, getting the oil hot, I'm frying the onion and I'm going to do the patties and then we will start with the sugar and the water. This is vinegar and the sugar and then I'll add the water. Uh, what type of vinegar? Any type. It, uh, it just has to be just vinegar. No apple cider or no, uh, you know, it has to be plain vinegar. And uh, some saffron, and I'll tell you how much saffron you use when it's ready. Make sure that your water, uh, the oil is very hot when you start frying. And what you need, you need to have a bowl with some water in it. Doing the patty is a little bit tricky. Put this aside now. You get, it depends how big you want, you can just get the meat, but you have to have some water to do the patties. I'm just going to do the few to you turn it into a ball. I remember my grandmother used to make a hole in the middle of the shami. But even when you start frying it, the hole, <laughs> there won't be any hole anymore. The hole just... You can make it any shape you like. Huh? Any shape. Uh, I, when I was a child, you know, I, she would make some small ones. I'm going to make you, show you how the shape that she would made it into. So for Valentine's Day, you can make Probably it. Probably a heart, yes. <laughs> My onion is, the onion is getting ready. Be very careful. Start turning them over. The first one that One of the reasons that they make the hole in the middle is just because it helps, as you see, the oil is coming through and it helps to cook it all the way through. And it would be more tender. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the heat down on the onion. Make sure you concentrate on what you're doing at one at a time, so. I, you can also make uh, meatballs, uh, chickpeas uh, meatballs.
I'll do one more. To show you. Man. It was Hanuma Havan who, if I recall correctly, who wanted to who wanted me to do the shami. So. Yes. <laughs> Okay, and my sauce is ready, so I'm gonna, let's, I'm gonna add the water to that first. This is half a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar, and half a cup of sugar. that simmer in the back burner while I take care of the shamis here. And then I'm going to add the saffron to this. Just to make sure that it's the right Now I'm going to soak this in the sauce. I'm going to turn off the... And we let this cook for maybe 10 minutes. Turn them over make sure that the sauce gets all over the and then I'm going to cover this after I'm done with the other one I've already turned off the heat and this starts boiling so I'm going to turn it down to low heat right like just like so cover it okay now I'm going to go through the whole thing with you again so it was one pound of meat one and a half cup of uh, roasted uh, chickpeas flour, half a cup of, uh, 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 half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a teaspoon of turmeric, and about maybe three tablespoon of uh, saffron water. 
and three eggs I'm, and one whole onion uh, grated. I mixed all that and then I fried it in a two cups of oil. I used only one cup and that was sufficient. So use it in uh, uh, the oil and if the oil is left over afterward, uh, you can uh, use it for frying uh, cutlet for instance or other things. Anyway, for the sauce, I used one small onion chopped. I fried it in uh, just a little bit of oil and then I added one half a cup of uh, water, half a cup of vinegar, and half a cup of uh, sugar. And about maybe uh, four uh, tablespoons of saffron water. Then I, after uh, I fried the uh, shami or chickpeas patties, I submerged it in the water and I let that cook for uh, for 10 minutes or so, and it's ready to serve. So what I'm going to do is, right now I'm gonna get ready to serve the It all depends how you wanna serve it. If you want to serve it in the uh, sauce, submerge it in the sauce with a lot of sauce, or you just want to uh, have uh, a little bit as it's your choice. I'm going to do it both ways so you'll see. For that you need a, another kind of a bowl, a deeper. So I think it was about, it's about 15 minutes or so since we started. Over 20. over 20 minutes, okay. Well, actually, when you fry it, when you fry it, it's almost uh, done. The reason that uh, you put it in the uh, sauce because you want the sauce to soak, so the whole uh, patty uh, would absorb the, uh, uh, the sauce. And you let it cook, so just to be sure that uh, the mixture and the sauce and the patty really mix together. Sometimes I just uh, do it about five minutes, but normally to play it safe, do it five, uh, 10 to 15 minutes. This has been already in there for 10 minutes, so I'm going to serve it. This is the one that we're going to serve with a lot of sauce.
Enjoy. Of course, my plate is never complete without the flower. <laughs> <laughs> 